Hi, I'm Katie McFadden, Assistant Dean and Managing Director of the College Advising Center, sometimes called the CAC at Lewis and Clark. Um, to all the family and friends of our incoming students watching this, welcome. And I'm going to talk a little bit about advising in this video and walk you through a few resources on our website. So at Lewis and Clark, we have what I would call a shared advising model where students uh, from the first semester all the way through to graduation are paired with at least two advisors. The faculty advisor is the main point of contact. This is who students meet with during orientation and before registration each semester. And when a student declares, the faculty advisor is swapped out for a faculty member in the major that they're declaring. Then throughout this time, uh, students also paired with someone in the College Advising Center. And we supplement faculty advising by providing some uh, help with four-year plans and overall planning, understanding options, maybe comparing different major uh, overseas combinations, um, looking at that all together. But faculty advisors and CAC advisors really do work in partnership to support students in meeting their academic goals. Um, we call each other with questions. Um, we meet together sometimes with students. So this is a partnership um, in supporting students through to graduation. Families and students will sometimes ask, well, what question should I take to the faculty advisor and what question should I take to the CAC advisor? Um, in general, CAC advisors do do that breadth. I tell students I know a little bit about a lot, but more importantly, I would say uh, not to get too worried and that the bigger mistake is not asking anyone when you have a question. Um, so if there's something about academics um, you're confused about, just approach one of us. And if we're not sure, we're gonna help point you in a direction of someone who can answer that for you. So here's an example of a four-year plan uh, that we would sit down to work on with a student, a first-year student or a transfer student, kind of map out options. And one thing I want to stress is how much room for exploration there is built into the curriculum. Um, so if a student takes 16 credits each semester, uh, eight times, they have 128 credits, which is what's required to graduate. Um, about a third of that is used for the major, and about a third of the 128 will go towards general education, but that still leaves a lot of room to explore classes maybe try some things and change your mind. Um, so that's why there's so many right ways to put together a schedule uh, in your first semester. Um, so I'm, I'm always telling students that to take the pressure off a little bit. Uh, if you do have really specific goals, or multiple majors and things you want to accomplish, uh, by all means, we can sit down and map that out. Um, but for most students, they're surprised by how much space there is here. And then let's transition to the website so I can talk us through a couple resources there. From the homepage, just search College Advising Center. And there's two landing pages to point out um, for first year students and for transfer students. Each of them have an FAQ with a lot of great questions that we commonly get asked by students over the summer and in their first couple semesters. So I would encourage you to look at this maybe with your student. Uh, you might see questions you didn't realize you had, uh, but in reading them, you better understand the college and um, progress through to graduation. The other thing is the video library. A couple years ago, we started making short screencast videos um, for things we thought were easier to watch than to read instructions for, um, especially on WebAdvisor, the system students use to register. There's some nice videos here. And then back to our homepage, if a student would want to meet with their advisor and talk through things, they can use Book Now, which takes you to an online calendar. So here is the College Advising Center staff, Katie Lemon, Heather Miner, Katherine Leibel, Janet Davidson, and myself. Um, student can click their assigned advisor or no preference to see first available. And these are half hour phone or video appointments. Um, once you enter details and submit, a student will get a confirmation email. 
So I hope this has been helpful in kind of walking through the basics, but if you have other questions for me, feel free to use my email, kmcfadden, K-M-C-F-A-D-D-I-N, at lclark.edu.